spotlight, uh, moonlight, uh. Why you won't shit and get your mood right, uh? Shorty look good in the moonlight, uh. So why you so bad, my, uh, spotlight, uh, moonlight, uh. Why you won't shit and get your mood right, uh? Shorty look good in the moonlight, uh. So why you so bad, my, uh, spotlight, uh, moonlight, uh. Why you won't shit and get your mood right, uh? Shorty look good in the moonlight, uh. So why you so bad, my, uh, spotlight, moonlight. Why you ain't taking your mood right? Shorty look good in the moonlight. Y'all hate it so bad, my. Here's your lesson, uh Life in intestine Taking shots without your brethren, uh Feel like I'm damaged I think it was you who planned it, uh All alone, call my phone, make me feel right Girl, you know when you go, make me feel right All right, guys, I've brought you in the final cut and I'm showing you the footage that we're gonna be working on. And my goal is to show you the absolute best and smoothest way to do your slow-mo and speed ramping all in one starting with the settings so here we go so as you can see um, my camera i have set it 1 250th of a second f2 in iso 200 for under the parking deck now that um, has some bright highlights in the back but that's all right but for the footage that we're going to be working on today um, i used a six stop nd filter so i can maintain shooting at f2 in 1 250th of a second. Now why 1 250th of a second? That's because I was shooting my footage at 120 frames a second. So you wanna always double your shutter speed, bare minimum. Now if you, you can go higher to combat the sun and whatnot, but it will change your footage. It won't look as smooth. It'll look over sharpened and kind of chaotic looking. So we wanna avoid that. That's the reason for the ND filter. But yeah, settings aside, if you're shooting 60 frames or 120 frames, always double your shutter, even with 24, but we're talking about slow-mo and speed ramping. So anytime you wanna speed ramp, you wanna do 60 frames or 120. So just wanna get that out of the way. Now, another key thing about settings is when you're in post, like we are now, you wanna make sure that your timeline is in a 24 frames a second timeline, regardless of the frame rate that you use. So let's get right into it, guys. Thank you for watching the video at the beginning and I hope you enjoyed it. So here we go. As you can see right here, I've already did a little speed ramp here. And so don't fret, if you don't know how to do this, I'm gonna show you right now with the next clip. So if we run this through, we can see it speeds into a slow-mo and it goes very slow and then it speeds out. So now we're going right into our next clip. What I wanna to do to continue this momentum and flow is I wanna come here to the very beginning and I wanna speed into another slow-mo. Now keep in mind this footage was shot at 120 frames a second so I can do that. So the best way to do this in Final Cut is to click on the here go to your little dial, hit automatic speed, and that's gonna make it 20% automatically for you. So what you wanna do is find a spot to where you wanna speed it to and stop, which I'm gonna do that right about here before that smoke gets really crazy. And what you can do is hit B and cut the footage, but there's a better way to do that. So let's not do that. So let's hit shift B. It cuts the footage, but not really cutting the footage. So everything is still intact, if that makes sense. So the first thing I wanna do is change this and go fast into two times, which is 200%, which is gonna match this. And then it's gonna go slow and we wanna find another spot. And now normally I do this to the music, um, which I have under here, you know, it's blanked out right now. So I'm gonna go by feel, um, just for what my eye sees. So right about there. And I'm gonna shift B again. And then I'm gonna speed this up, okay? Two times, which is 200%. This is where I really wanna help you guys because so many people mess up with this. And I did this at the beginning when I didn't know anything about speed ramping. I used to just cut the footage and speed it up, slow it down. And that never was smooth. So I'm gonna show you, it did it here, and you're, if your eye is not trained, you're not gonna understand what I'm talking about. But with your speed ramps, you should have these tabs right here in between. And this is what helps smooth everything out. But when you first cut, what happens is one of your sides will get 
chop. There's no cushion in that. So what I mean by that, let me show you. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this one in as if it wasn't cut correctly. Anyway, all right, so now they're both in. So what's gonna happen is, as you can see how smooth this is, it slowly goes. And now watch what happened there. Boom. See how it just, it may look cool at first, but it's very, it's very abrupt the way it comes in fast and then it just stops fast and stops there's no smoothness same with coming out boom boom and because the way i line these clips up it still looks good but guys this is not the correct way if you want the smoothest we're going to fix that get this bigger so we can see the handles now this is the secret in having smooth footage so you barely can see this but you want to drag out there you go and the rule of thumb normally, and it can be broken, but I like to stay with the rule of thumb, is that the clip before, wherever the handles are in length, you want to match it on the other side so it's nice and even when it comes in. So that looks about right. I'm going to let that render out. And what's going to happen is, it comes in speed speed slowly see how smooth that was compared so I'm gonna turn the music on and I'm gonna do some work just so you can see me work and that way you get how I'm gonna cut to the music all right so here we go All right, so that goes with the song, but I wanna add some drama to it, okay? Let's take this, and first, what did I tell you? We're gonna make it automatic speed in Final Cut. All right, and that's just gonna bring it to slow. All right, nice and smooth, because my shutter's at the right place, and which is double the frame rate, and I used an ND to have a smooth motion blur. All right, so let's do this. So I'm gonna stop it there. And what did I say? Shift B. And then we're gonna make this fast at two times. The handle here, but it's not the same length as here. So for the smoothest footage, guys, remember that's our goal. Let's bring it out. All right. So I'm gonna shift B again. And just gonna speed this part up right to where she turns around. Yeah, and I like that right there, shift B. And two times, two percent to begin with. All right, so now as you can see, we lost our handle on this side. We need to match that side. So let's go ahead and fix that, guys. If you, you'll get to where you train your eye and if you don't see, when you're looking back at your footage, you'll see a jump in your footage and you'll realize that you have to fix it. And I hope you enjoy this, guys. This is something that is very simple to do once you understand it, but it's crucial to play with these handles. It's crucial to have a 24 second timeline and it's crucial to use automatic speed in this program so you can form your 120 frames down into a 24 timeline for the smoothest footage. So I will leave you with this just to see once more again, and I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe down below and give me a big thumbs up if this helped you out, and I will see you guys on the next one.